Hey there, folks, Bobo the Vulture and Castle of the Winds. Two great tastes that go great together. Um, don't know why we're doing ad slogans, but uh, we are. Why not? It's catchy. Um, so, uh, last time we were killed by a gelatinous glob that we didn't see until it had gotten up to us. And of course, gelatinous globs, despite what you might think of gelatinous globs, turns out are vastly more agile than you are. Or than, at least, our little character Bobo is. And there doesn't seem to be much that Bobo can do about it. Now then. Save. You know, some people might consider saving so much cheating, but it's a mechanic of the game right there. It's not even being added later via an emulator. So, I say the game's loss. Oh, and it turns out it was up this friggin' hallway anyway, and not the other one. I found a whole ton of secret doors. And I found a shadow me. We can always hide in the shadows. Magic arrow hit the shadow. I'm going to fire my magic missile into the darkness. Alright, that's enough firing magic missiles into the darkness. Kathump! It could use sounds like that sometimes. Hey, it worked. Hey, you know what that is, folks? That's right. It is a scything blade. One might even call it a trap. Get that. And... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to completely ignore you, uh... Little... Little snaky guy. Uh, probably a viper. Hey, a rusty helmet. Or a broken helmet. Okay, folks, time for a date with destiny. A date with a gelatinous glob. Kinda like online dating, folks, am I right? Hey, -o! <laughs> Ugh. Things not turning out so e harmonious. You know, this might actually be a place where having the spell of light would uh, help. You know what? I'll try it. Let there be light. Well, okay. It shows me that there's not a gelatinous glob in this room. As I had feared. I don't know why I'm searching along here. Clearly you can tell by the bars on top and left of the, uh, top and bottom of the Sorry, bottom and right, I know my directions, of the window here. Clearly there's no more space for there to be more dungeons. So really, searching for hidden doors there was useless. Yep, it's another one of these bipedal bears. And really, it kind of looks like they're you know, inverted joint legs. Just the way they're drawn a little bit. I'm wondering if this is like some kind of mech warrior bear. Hmm. 
wondering whether that was some kind of mech warrior bandit. Although I tend to really think it wasn't. Hey, a bat. And, uh, let me just do this. There we go. Bat and a snake. Ah, the adventures of bat and snake. And walking corpse. Alright, let's see, we're on fortress level 5. wonder how many more fortress levels there are here. We must be getting close to Hrungnir! Whoever he is, or she, or whatever he or she is. I mean, so far we haven't really run into that many, like, human beings down here. We run into those bandits, the smirking sneak thieves. I guess they're theoretically human, but they're kind of goofy looking. Um, so yeah, maybe I mean maybe Hrungnir is a uh, kobold. We have got a note from that one room with a bunch of kobolds in it. Maybe Hrungnir is like a kobold. I think I think that's probably what it is. I think Hrungnir. I think that guy is probably a kobold. Enchanted cape of production. Yes. Let's throw this in here. Put us on a uh, an enchanted cape. Woo! I bet I feel more protected now. Oh, apparently, in I must have loaded game at some point and not. Uh, I'm sorry, if I was shaking the mic around there. Um, I must have loaded game at some point and not learned this new spell. Let's activate the Book of Spell and learn Remove Curse. And then take the chest back. Alright, so now we escape out and see we feel protected. And we learn the spell of Remove Curse. So let's look at our character now. What kind of, uh... I guess these must be the stats that we started with. And then these are the magical enhancements that we have. Something like that, anyway. But, uh, yes, I'm digging it. Okay, so we did that. We now are going to sleep until we've got our magic all the way back up. Okay, now let's go down a floor because there's nothing. There is nothing else on this floor, right? I've explored thoroughly. Interesting little floor, isn't it, folks? Maybe you can see some variety of interesting shape to it, like, uh, patterns in the clouds but I'll leave that to you oh viewers at home to piece together for you as yourselves yet oh they're rusty bracers and the club boy this is some hall we're finding here I found a stick and whoa 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 man of course okay I think you guys might remember Manticores from previously. I'm going to go up a floor and uh, rest. Yeah, because that Manticore hit us with tail spikes. If there was only one of them, I think there might have been a bunch of them. Because we got hit with a lot of tail spikes. Almost killed us. Alright. Fine then, I won't go that way. I'll go in this room. <laughs> and find the Chamber of Spiders. Uh, where's Ziggy Stardust when you need him? I know. What I will do is shoot a cold ball right here. And hit them both with splash damage. Ba boom I'll hit them with splash damage again. And then I will step back to where I'm only facing them one at a time. And then I'll close the door, catch them should I, except for when the bandit warrior guy shows up. 
Oh, you know what? I'm totally out of time. Bobo the Vulture. I'll see you next time.